Hello, I'm Rodney Hill, product manager here at Atlas Copco. Today I'd like to show you our XCB battery tool. This is a clutch battery tool with some intelligence on the tool that I want to tell you about. If we take a look at this tool, we can see we have a screen on the back of the tool that shows us the indication of which way the tool is running. I have the red light on here because the last torque I did was not okay, but it also has green lights and yellow lights for other indications. This tool has an accuracy of plus or minus 10%. It is a clutch tool with a mechanical clutch. So when you set the clutch, it just runs one program and the clutch will kick in when you reach the desired torque. This particular tool is a pistol variant that goes up to 12 Newton meters. We'll also have tools in the family and the right angle variant that go up to 80 Newton meters. To set up this tool, basically we'll need to set our mechanical clutch on the tool and then plug into the tool to set our speeds. No additional software is needed. It has a micro USB connection. You connect that to your laptop go to a web page and you can set up the features in the tool. Here we have the main interface for the tool. We'll see there's really two options on this menu. We have the settings menu that gives us some information about the tool that we have connected. We also have the ability to update the software from this menu um, and we have the ability to do exports. So if we wanna save our settings from the tool. We can do that here as well. We're gonna go back to the main menu and now we'll go to tightenings. We see we have the default clutch program here, and there's only one program available on the XCB tools because it is a clutch tool. So there is a mechanical clutch here that's going to reach our target torque. What we can set in the program, you see we have two options. We have a one speed program or two speed. For one speed program, it's very simple. We put in the speed that we wanna to run to, how fast we wanna to accelerate to that speed. That's our acceleration there in milliseconds. And then we have whether or not we want to detect rehits. And what a rehit means is it means that the fastener is already tight and we'll detect if we don't have enough angle that that fastener is already tight and we'll flag that as a not okay. Here we have the two speed menu. We're starting off at 467 RPMs. We have an acceleration time here of 350 milliseconds. That means it will go to that speed over 350 milliseconds. After one complete turn, we'll go to the speed of 374 RPMs to complete our tightening. And the acceleration here is actually how fast we will slow from the original speed to the other speed. So we'll do that also over 350 milliseconds. And then down here, you can see that I have rehit angle turned on. And I wanna make sure if I don't turn more than 45 degrees, once I'm on the fastener, I know that I've detected a rehit and I'm gonna flag that as a not okay. It's that easy to set up the XCB tool. Now we can go and do some rundowns. We're gonna start on our couple of hard joints here. And as I go through and fasten these, I'll get green lights, the tool clutches out, everything's okay. If I actually try to hit one of these again, remember I turned on rehit, you'll see that I get a red light. And that just lets me know it can detect these are already tight. It wasn't able to tighten these fasteners because they've already been tightened. So that's a nice feature to have in a battery clutch tool. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any more questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative. And thanks for watching.